with tons of talk about goal setting. How do you make sure that you actually hit your goals for 2019? Hey, it's Ryan Ketchum here from Fitness Revolution. And as we head into this new year, as we head into 2019, or if you're watching this later and you've got big goals for your business, you want to make more money, have more free time, um, really take your business to the next level, whatever that might mean for you, right? Goal setting is critical for your progress and your growth. We have to have targets that we're aiming at, right? But just like you know with your fitness clients that setting a goal, losing 50 pounds, adding 10 pounds of muscle, adding 20, 40, 50 pounds to your deadlift, whatever it might be for your fitness goals, the goal is great. The thing that helps you get there is discipline to the plan. So as you work on your fitness business the growth plan for 2019 is you set your goals for revenue, for new clients, for the big projects and initiatives that you want to accomplish over the next year. Here's how you ensure that you hit them, right? You have to have a plan. Now, we encourage our coaching clients that we work with to set rocks. So they set KPI goals. So they set goals for key performance indicators, which are things like growth sales, um, retention numbers, new clients in their business. And we set them annually and we also set them for each quarter and then each month so that they have a target to aim for, right? Then we look at the big yearly initiatives, the, the objectives that they need to accomplish over the next year, and we break those down into rocks, and we set rocks each quarter for those coaching clients, and these rocks are the big projects that will help them reach their either KPI goals or their annual objectives. So these are the big projects that are gonna happen that will make their strategy come to life Right? And it will actually allow them to accomplish the goals that they've set for themselves, accomplish the vision that they have for their business. And so these rocks have to include a rock plan. So we look at these project plans essentially is what this is. We have a rock plan and we break down the rocks. So no matter where you're at, right? This is how you accomplish your goals or your big annual objectives is to create a rock. So a project, you set a KPI goal. And reverse engineer that and you create a plan to get there. So we look at how long do we have. So for us, we usually run in 90 day cycles. So we have 90 days to make this become a reality or accomplish this project, get this rock completed or hit this target. We then reverse engineer that goal to say what has to happen either first, so you can engineer it from the, the start point or you can say, okay, Right before and finish, what has to happen before that, then before that, then before that. So we set a, a list of key milestones that have to happen to hit that goal. So for marketing or KPIs, for a lot of those business numbers, that's going to be your marketing plan. What's your AAA marketing plan that you have in place? What are your promotion calendars? What's your sales look like? What's your sales cycle look like? And that is the plan and the milestones that you have to hit. I have to get this many leads in this month and this month to be able to get this many new clients so that I'm able to then accomplish my revenue goals and my new client goals for my business. For these other projects that we have going on, we have to set out a list of milestones. We have to associate and give them deadlines. So we have to know, are we on pace to hit our goal? So as we're building out this project plan, this rock plan, we reverse engineer it. We list out all the key milestones that have to happen. We assign a deadline so that, you know, point A, milestone A has to be hit by this deadline so that we can get to milestone B at this deadline, milestone C at this deadline, D at this deadline, so that we can accomplish our end goal or complete this project or this rock at the time that we need to by the deadline overall. Then you bring your team members in. If you have team members or you go get help from mentors, from outside experts, from other people that might be able to help you if you wanna get other help, you go and you assign them the tasks that are going to help you hit those milestones. You associate deadline, you give them responsibilities, and then hold them accountable by checking in with them consistently throughout, usually every week, right, in your weekly individual meetings. You're checking in with your progress towards that goal. Am I on track? Am I going to hit milestone A deadline so that then I can start working on milestone B, C, D, and then eventually accomplish all of my goals. So if you want to hit your big goals, right, make sure to break them down into KPI goals. So those are the numbers in your business. And then you have these rocks that are going to help you accomplish your big annual objectives, right, or accomplish your vision for your business, where you want it to be, what it looks like, how it performs in the future. And then you create a rock plan 
or a marketing plan or a plan to hit the KPI goals or a rock plan to hit those rock goals. You break them down into milestones, assign them deadlines, and then you give uh, you assign ownership of those deadlines and those milestones so that you can check in on it and then hold yourself accountable or hold your team accountable to hitting them. And you will accomplish more in the next 12 months than you ever have before. If you have any questions right, or you need some help figuring out what are my goals, what do I do, I don't know what to do next, I don't know how to solve these problems, right, click the button below or the card up above in the YouTube video here, and we wanna talk with you about, we're gonna go through a free discovery call to help you uncover, here's the problems, here's the opportunities in your business, this is what we can do to help you fix it, and then if it makes sense, right, we can partner with you to help you accomplish those things, we can coach you, we can guide you, we can get you the resources to help you solve your biggest business problem. So if that sounds interesting to you, if you wanna make more progress in the next 12 months than you have in the past three, four, five years in your business, get on that free discovery call, all right? Talk to a member of our team and see how we can help you, see what opportunities we can uncover. I'll be back soon with another video, later.